Hello, I'm Wayne Partridge, an old Christian businessman. I was, I became a Christian, or I was saved, or born again, however you want to hear it, November 4th, 1971, an event that changed my life. And in business, I wanted to change and not offend my God. So I stopped lying about a product, I, my dirty mouth of uh, swearing uh, stopped, and I told the truth. And as I learned, I found something that really irritates me, and that is that most people today think that everybody goes to heaven. That's the biggest lie Satan ever told. Not everybody goes to heaven. It's only people that are saved or born again that goes to heaven. So God says in 1 Timothy 2.4, I've got a note sheet here. You remember I'm an old guy and I can't remember everything I used to. 1 Timothy 2.4, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. And that's what I'm going to do right now is bring you to the knowledge of the truth. First of all, you are never going to die. You will never die. You were born in a body. Two seeds came together, mother, father, and you were born, you grew up, and as you were born, you were decaying and dying. You die sometimes by an illness like a disease like cancer, many other diseases, maybe a car wreck, maybe uh, another way of an accident, you lost your life, you were killed, or you lived to be an old age and died that way. But when you die, when that body's gone, you are still alive. You will never ever die. And God says that you are going to go to one place or the other alive. Heaven or hell. But you will never die even in those places, one or the other. And I'm going to read to you the truth of why you cannot go to heaven if you're not saved or born again. Romans 5.12 Wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. That's the problem. Sin. So it's very simple. Since you're never going to die and you're going to live either in heaven or hell, these verses I'm going to give you, which is just a couple, will show you how to get to heaven. God has a plan. Romans 5, 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still in sin, Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for us. Another verse, Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Remember, who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. That's the truth. 
Jesus Christ died for us. All right. John 3.16 is the entire <laughs> way to, to heaven in one verse, and then there's a follow-up verse behind it that we'll look up, look at in a few minutes, and then we'll be done. For God so loved the world, that's you, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's go through that where we can easily understand it, okay? For God so loved you and me that he gave his only begotten son. Begotten means unique, one of a kind. That's Jesus Christ. He gave his son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Get a hold of that word, believeth. Okay? Should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, for God so loved you that he gave his own son to die upon the cross of Calvary, to shed his blood, to suffer for your sin. And if you will believe that in your heart and confess that with your mouth, you can be saved and not perish and go to the flames of hell, but have everlasting life. That's heaven. That is salvation in a nutshell. All right. John 3.36 He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. If you're saved, if you're a believer, if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, he took your place, and you know that, and you've asked God to forgive you for your sin, and ask him to save you from your, from your sin, and believe that Jesus did die for your sin, then you have Jesus Christ. And if you don't, you have the wrath of God. Revelation 21.8. I told you this was going to be quick. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable sexual, uh, homosexuals and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Wow, what a verse. The, the verse, the word I want you to see is unbelieving. So, but the fearful and the unbelieving and on and on and on will have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, if you are not a believer, that is, that you believe in Jesus Christ, he died for you on the cross of Calvary, and then you ask God to save you, and you became saved, born again, then you're going to have your part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. I am going to die one time, the physical death, but I still live. I will not die the second death. That is the spiritual death. I have been spiritually born again. If you die with being an unbeliever, then you will not only die the physical death, but also the spiritual death, which is the second 
death. And then you will end up in hell and the lake of fire after hell. All right. Now I'm going to read you another verse that should explain it a lot more. Revelation 2010. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, which uh, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. That's what will happen to you if you don't get saved. But it's the devil that deceived them. Those that believe that automatically they're going to go to hell because they've been good have been deceived. Deceived. And that's what I don't want to happen to you. I don't want you to be deceived. I'm here to give you the truth that God wants me to give. All right. And the last verse I'm going to give is John 3.16 is the one I told you about earlier that was really good. This is the next verse, John 3.17. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. There we are. No more notes. And it's come down to time that you need to be saved. You're never going to die. You're going to live forever, either in heaven or hell. And you will end up in the lake of fire after the millennium and the great white throne judgment. I know all about that. I read a lot about the coming judgment. And you are going to live somewhere forever. I would, I, I, I can't even imagine the thought of living in the lake of fire forever. Never come out. Let's pray. If, if you're under the conviction of God and you would like to be saved, let's pray right now. You can close your eyes. You can leave them open. It doesn't matter. God knows your heart. Father in heaven, I believe by faith that Jesus died for my sin. That he took my place I would ask that you would forgive me for my sin. Come into my heart and change my life and save my soul. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, I hope you were sincere. I hope you did pray that prayer. And I just pray that you will change. And if you do change, you're a born-again Christian. If you don't change, you didn't mean it. So I'm going to sign off now. So good day. That's going to do it. I hope.